Ladies and gentlemen, we are leaving the truck stop and we're going to go over to our delivery place and see if we can find it to make our delivery. Yeah, it's 9, uh, 9.30 right now. We are going to go see if we can make our way down there. Hopefully they will be happy to see us too. are just flashing up here I would kind of think they should be working right but I guess not there, yeah even the other side is flashing red so that to me generally means we all supposed to stop yeah they even got a Walmart across the street here I didn't even know they had a Walmart up here couple of trucks in there too. I don't know if they're too uh, if they're happy to see truckers in there but they are parking in there I guess when the truck stop gets full they park wherever they can right that's right I have to do that too sometimes you know we'll see wherever I could park that's what we truckers have to do sometimes right I think so. I think so. I don't know. Here we go. Alrighty. Let's go find our place and see if we can deliver this load. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have gotten our load off. Yeah. Now we are making our way slowly towards uh, our reload place. exactly 72 miles from the place that I delivered to up to where I gotta pick up my preloaded trailer although they're saying it's only supposed to be ready uh, after 3 this afternoon and it's well quarter to 12 right now so uh, we went back to the follow-up pilot up here and uh, grabbed us a bite to eat. Figured since it's not in a big rush to get down there anyways, <clears throat> it's only about an hour and 15 minutes drive up there. I could afford to go get me a bite to eat. Should be there around one o'clock. On this road for so we'll have miles. to see if I get lucky that my load might be ready earlier. That would be fantastic. Well, we'll have to see if that's going to happen, right? Yeah. I don't know if you will be able to see it, but right now it looks like it has stopped too, but... Uh, just as I was leaving the uh, pilot there to go do my delivery, it was starting to uh, give me some really light flurries. And when I come back, it was starting to get a little bit more snowy. But now since we're leaving, it seems to have disappeared. So that's good. I don't need a snowstorm, especially if I'm empty, right? That's never good. 
good, but right now the roads are dry, so I mean, I'm good to go right now, but you never know, right? Uh, it will be one uh, when I get down the road. I'm kind of hoping that my load will be ready early, though. <clears throat> that way I can do my trailer switch, start making my way towards Toronto. Get there earlier tomorrow afternoon if that was the case. Now we could drive a couple of hours today yet, you know. Well, after I pick up my load, I could probably drive another night and three quarter hours since it's only an hour and a quarter from here to there. <clears throat> so I should be good to go for a good distance yet after I pick it up. But I don't think I'm gonna drive that late though. Nope, I don't think so. I don't like driving really late at night, but my goal would be as long as I can get past Chicago tonight, get into Michigan, maybe somewhere up there, and then uh, call it a day. That would be ideal. That way I only have about six, seven hours maybe from there to, uh, <coughs> to Toronto tomorrow. And uh, that would be fantastic. Well, we'll see how it turns out. I'm kind of looking at my fuel gauge too. I'm uh, still a little bit over a half a tank of fuel. So I did pretty good on fuel coming down here. So I don't think I'm going to even need to fuel today uh, or tomorrow here in the States yet. I might be good to... Uh, Till I get into Ontario. My goal right now lately has been trying to fuel more in Canada. Is the exchange rate is so high that I think I can get the fuel cheaper right now in Canada. Plus I get the GST bag, right? So that way uh, every quarter when I do my GST, I would have a bigger return on my GST. Lately it's been kind of low. Lately it's been like eight, nine hundred dollars. Used to be like fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars all the time. So, but anyways, let's get on down the road, down the road, and let's see if we can pick up our load early. Let's keep our fingers crossed, and we'll see what happens. Here we go. We are just coming into Cedar Rapids, Iowa into the industrial area yeah we're only like 2.7 miles away from our pickup place so let's see if we can find this i looked on google earlier and it looks like a huge place so you know as you can probably see here to the left everything is big over here it seems like <laughs> yeah so let's see if we will have good luck finding our place of pickup now I'm just supposed to do a trailer switch up here and I was just talking to a friend of mine there that works for the same company that was here last week and uh, he said his trailer was ready when he got here so uh, I'm kind of hoping that my trailer will be ready too. But I guess it's just a matter of time and finding out. We'll be here very shortly right and then we'll know for sure if it will be ready or not. But I think my company is a little bit further down the road here. It's not that big place right there, that's something else. Not sure exactly what that company is all about, but or what they make over there, but Yeah, so let's go down here. And that's wish us luck. Alrighty ladies and gentlemen, we've been here at our customer now for a couple of I don't know how long, probably, well, an hour and a half maybe. I think we got here on one o'clock and I think it's almost three o'clock now. And I figured, well, my truck is getting dirty. Look at all them stuff on the floor there. So we got out our vacuum cleaner, vacuum cleaner, that's right. And I figured, well, I'm going to show you what kind of vacuum cleaner I use. This is a very uh, 
portable uh, vacuum cleaner and uh, that's the brand name and I can buy this at uh, Kine, uh, Walmart let me see if I can uh, let me see what I can do here it's got a uh, little uh, spinning wheel right here with little brushes on it and that uh, will clean my floor and it's a bit hard to do this by one hand but I can actually turn that and that closes that right there and now what I can do let me see if I can pull this off and pull this off and I got a uh, long uh, pipe with a really narrow end and I can get into tight corners and stuff like that and then it will suck more through that hose right and it's got this uh, this can here at the end or whatever you want to call it let me see if I can put my stuff right there and it's got a little button here right at the end I just press it and I push this out a little bit let's see if I can do this there we go and then I can take this right out let me just put this aside all right I'll throw the vacuum cleaner over there so it's got a little bucket at the bottom there so you can see I cleaned it out there's a lot of dirt in there but here it's got a uh, filter and you can just take that right out like that and it's got a little screen around it and you can usually uh, clean the filter and stuff like that and let me see if I can uh, unscrew this I'll just do it like that so there we go can usually just unscrew that right like that and then I can uh, throw the dust out that's usually where the dust goes into yeah so uh, since uh, our, our load is not ready I figured well may as well start cleaning the truck because it's dirty so may as well do something right and I figured I've never shown you my uh, striker uh, radio yet and uh, I know Jukebox showed this a little bit there uh, a couple of weeks ago when we met up but I figured I would show you this again some of you may have never seen that before so uh, it actually can change colors on its own and I think that's pretty cool you know you can see the amount of colors that the radio's got and uh, let me maybe zoom in there a little bit hopefully you can see that it's a striker sr-497 hpc and this radio has been uh, tuned up all the way so it's supposed to push out 160 watts so uh, nice little radio you know show you a little bit that's where i got my dash cam and that's where i got my other camera I got a clip up here sometimes when I have the camera here then you can see the whole cab like inside of here pretty much you know I got a, a clip right up there and that's where this camera usually sits right there and this is where the almighty RJ is somebody was saying the other day that it's got a lady's voice name or voice and uh, oh well that's okay I still call her RJ, RJ and here I got my remote for my GoPros so I do not touch my GoPros when I'm going down the road so we are hands free yeah that's right well anyways enough of that let's get to cleaning let's clean our truck before they come and tell us that our load is ready right since I've been sitting here for two hours already pretty much and not doing nothing really so may as well start cleaning my truck and that way it's not so boring and then uh, gives me something to do and hopefully by that time they'll have my load ready they said they couldn't give me any idea on how long it's going to be so who knows might be till tomorrow <laughs> i don't know i don't think it's going to be that long but anyways let's get to cleaning Alrighty, guys we are done cleaning the truck so let's have a look i uh tried to uh wipe the whole floor off i vacuum cleaned in here so let's take a look that looks much nicer now doesn't it I got all my stuff in the back here now but uh, gotta reorganize everything a little bit but uh, even my uh, floor mat I took that off yeah let's put that back in there and I wiped off the whole dashboard 
everything should be nice and clean now and uh, I use this uh, type of refreshener to uh, spray around here a little bit so you might see a little bit of that spot somewhere but little wet spots here and there and that's from that spray spraying everything out so everything looks good now she smells good in here so now we're happy campers again so now it feels like a living truck in here again I was starting to look pretty dirty here before so but uh, yeah she looking pretty good now I think so uh, now it's just awaiting him to get uh, our load here so so we'll see what else we'll be able to show you today well guys and gals it is the next morning let's take a look well looks like we are still sitting in the same spot aren't we and that is correct we are they never came and knocked on our door yet saying that the load was ready I walked in there a couple of times checking to see if the load was going to be ready and they said uh, it's going to be closer to nine o'clock so uh, nine o'clock came and went and I waited till about 9 30 and they still hadn't come and told me that the load was ready so I decided well screw it I'm going to bed if they want to kick me out of their yard they can't really do it but I guess they could but uh, I decided to go to sleep and now it's seven o'clock in the morning and uh, I'm just getting up here and gonna get ready to uh, I guess I'll do my logbook up and uh, finish my video and uh, once I got that all taken care of then I'll go walk in there and hopefully this time they'll have my load ready really hope so I hope you guys have enjoyed the, uh, today's video though, I mean it's not much of a driving video but uh, we showed you a little bit so uh, hopefully that's something and uh, hey hopefully today will be a better day. I keep saying that but well what can I do about it right, not that I, it's not in my, my control right they don't have my load ready they don't have it ready right so nothing I can do about that so but at least it's not snowing it's not ice raining up here or nothing like that so it's looking good for weather wise so so let's get our stuff together and let's go see if our load is ready finally behind me that day is gonna come i'm breaking the walls down